Hey guys, welcome to this FIFA Pro Club commentary of Underrated FC playing Les Touches 62. And it is basically a game just off set plays and high vital it can be whenever you're constantly going down to scrape that win. So basically if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll see that Underrated FC we play quite a high press counter attack and at the start of the game we look to put teams under as much pressure as we can. The first bit here will just show how we get the ball back. With them pass it high up field, press higher and then basically just get ourselves into a situation where we can have as many attacking options as we can in that box. We were unlucky not to get that goal there. It was a really good save from the goalkeeper in that instance. And I think now that we've got a run of corners, that basically it leaves us vulnerable and it doesn't really give us anybody at the back, especially whenever we are a small group playing at the moment and not the full team out. So basically now that that corner are over, you've seen that we're almost counter attack straight away there. My players went down injured and he currently hasn't made it back to his position yet. So that leaves a big gap and this goal is probably my fault more than anything as I am the centre mid in this situation. And basically that's us 1-0 down straight first 10 minutes. So we're fighting an uphill battle from here. So now we're fighting an uphill battle, we're one little time. We don't really know what, how to organise ourselves in this situation. So I hoof the ball up the field and hope that we, one of our strikers can catch it. And then it just turns into a table tennis scenario where the opponent can't kick it out of their own half. And basically we're knocking it one, two back to each other because we're trying to find that opportunity to get in. Timmy gets tackled there, a brilliant opportunity for the free kick. From this point we're just looking, whip this ball into the box, not as far as the 6 yard box, just sort of in between it and the 18 yard line, just make it perfect. And as you can see, Wayne Rooney there just bangs it in. Still fat though, don't know how he got off the ground. So basically now it's one each. We're looking not to let the game get scrappy because whenever it gets scrappy it gets very manic. So as you can see, bad pass from the opponent. Um, next thing, boom, starts to get a bit scrappy. I don't play the pass whenever I should have. And we've started the situation of bad passes. So now we're on the attack again. I'm running in towards the back post and Timmy was in the middle. I'm unlucky not to meet that. I'm not fast enough. Um, so now we've got the corner, we're thinking, right, we've got to score this or else we're going to get countered and something is going to happen. See, ball straight at the keeper, keeper looks straight away, ball straight out. Next thing, our two defenders are dealing with two guys, our midfield isn't quite back yet, we're trying to fall back in the position, I don't quite meet that ball and that is my fault. And then they score, countered. Went 1-0 down, the 1-H. Two one down, that starts to play in your mind, and that starts to sort of signal this might not be your game. So the only way to counter that is to score a goal pretty much straight away after. We'll have to score the next goal. So here we go. We we'll start passing it about again. We're thinking, right? Let's do what we're good at. We're good at passing. We're good at moving, and we're good at running. And here it is, an aggressive tackle, and. A yellow card for that one, quite deservedly to be honest, because all they've done is kick the team's legs the whole game. <laughs> so, here we are. Tony put his ball on the way in Rooney's head and scores. That was a goal West Brom fans would be proud of. So now they're back. Kicking off, they're going straight for us, straight for the kill, trying to seal off 
get a third goal, try claim this game for themselves. Start trying to play table tennis ball again, and it doesn't seem to play off. And they go straight back when the ball pass, pass, and now they're on the attack again. Our three defenders though were sitting really well back because we changed our tactics and wanted it to be basically where they sat back further instead of up high. Good save from the keeper. Can't say he's done much this game, but he's done well with that one. Corner. Try to clear. Out for a court. Throw in. Sorry. So three off is around to one player. Straight in for the tackle. An hour throw in. Now we're thinking, right, it's coming up to half time. We're going to have to do something here. Because if they keep getting in these attacking positions and pinning us back in our half, they're going to eventually score a goal. So we're thinking, right, straight out. I tried to play a Tony Pinnis ball again. I don't know why, probably wasn't the best move, but it doesn't matter. Got tackled down again. Don't understand how that was not a red card. Not a red card, a yellow card, sorry. On the Rene. He looks for me, I'm offside in this instance. Um, nothing I can say, just bad judgment on my part in the run. So now we're thinking, half time's coming up, we're going to just seal it off to each before half time and that'll be just nice to go in level at the moment. But then we get an attack and we're thinking, right, but we don't seem to have enough runners up, we don't have enough men in front of that ball to give that attack and player options. I'm unlucky, I'm very lucky, sorry, to win that ball and we're unlucky not to put it away in the net. Straight out clearance, out there when we're again, crosses it in. And a bad finish just. We're unlucky with our headers and it's just one of the end games where we could be three or four in front probably and we're just not because we're not finishing clinically enough in this game for some reason. Um, as you can see, 55% possession, 13 shots, 7 on target there, 6 shots, and 4 on target, 45% possession. So we're dominating the game, and we're the more attacking side, we're the more creative side. Straight out, free kick here in the 50th minute. And basically, we're thinking, right, let's, let's play a bit of Tony Pillis football here. Straight up, big forward, and then next thing, we're being, <laughs> being hit in the attack. Now, we're very lucky not to get scored against in that situation. Our striker's very, very wasteful with this. Instead of looking for one of his runners, he just blasts it in the, the stands. So we're aiming for Rooney's head again. Out to Timmy in the John. And then I'm thinking, right, maybe a 1-2 or something. Doesn't quite come off. He was trying to beat his man in that instance. I didn't have my mic in to talk to him about it. So he had no way of knowing. If I wanted the ball, he was probably just looking at the man behind and not where my player was. So I'm offside here. Uh, straight offside again. Let the ball run for Timmy. Timmy gets the ball taken off him. And now we're being attacked again. CPU wins it very well there, up in the high press. And now we're on the attack. I'm thinking, right, I'm going to do a wee turn here and cross it in and Rooney or John should hopefully meet this and it's a good goal, well work goal, N nicely played. That's his hat trick this game as well, which is pretty amazing. I, had, I got a hat trick of an assist and he got his hat trick of headers. So now the opponent's just playing about with the ball in their own half. We're sort of sitting back a wee bit, we're cautious about conceding the next goal. I give away a silly free kick here. I think the referee's wrong. They actually give me a yellow in this instance considering his tackle on me earlier. And the fact that they've been tackling all game and none of them have seen a red card yet. And that's my first challenge and I get a yellow. That's typical FIFA. <laughs> Straight away, looking for a long ball, it doesn't why come to me, goes to Timmy, Rooney gets onto it, we're thinking right, give him the runs, gets tackled, we take too long and he takes too long to play us in, 
and we take too long to play a run. Straight away we're being countered, keeper with a good save and another good save. That was excellent from the goalkeeper, he had much more to do this section of the game. So we've got a corner now and we're thinking, right, we can't afford to concede from this. They've been bad in the air the whole game. We've been the dominant force in the air and we've been the dominant force on the ground as well, which is pretty surprising. So now we're just giving silly things away in the edge of our area. Their strikers are being wasteful, which is very, very good for us, considering they were very clinical in the first half. It's something, I don't know, they just didn't seem to get very many on target in the second half. That was a good block from the defence. In our corner, we're thinking, right, let's just get this away. We're in 75 minutes, just run down the clock. Good save from the keeper, good hands. Ball straight up, looking to play any sort of play and get it into this box. And the two runners, one in between. The defence is actually pretty solid there. They're actually doing a really good job of just not splitting and not creating space for our strikers. But our defence do the opposite whenever it comes to them. Um, just long ball football now from probably both teams and then we're trying to get it down on the ground but at the same time it's very hard to whenever everybody's just booting it not thinking about where they're passing it. So now we've got a good attack going. Defence is actually in a pretty solid line but creates space there for Timmy to run into for the rebound. No one tracked him and the easy finish for him. So now 4-2, we're just thinking, right, we've got our two-goal lead, we'll just play the rest of the game out. We're just playing basically a bit sloppier, and that's probably down to the scoreline as per usual. 90 minutes in, four minutes at a time, and we're guaranteed this win unless by some miracle they just seem to magically just come back from this, which is not possible by this point in the match. <laughs> So now John gets the ball, he's thinking one thing, let me have this, he scuffs it, very unlucky, very unlucky. So that's the end of the match, very good performance from Underrated FC, please give us a like, please give us a subscribe and leave a comment, don't be shy. Thank you for watching, Underrated FC.